I'm talking about the team. He's doing their gigs and getting paid and being famous or whatever it is, you know. Um, well, now we've got three companies, like PEP is an expansion of Pill, so it facilitates Pill. So that means Pill can do more of the things it wanted to do in the first place, um, effectively, more effectively. That, it's like there, there is other stuff, but we don't really want to talk about it. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a hint. There's, there's one company called Multi Image Corporation, which like, facilitates a lot of stuff. It like, produces Pill's music now, um, produces Pill's artwork. And there's other stuff. There's a lot of stuff. It, it's like, I, I want to see it happen before I talk about it. I'll talk yeah, about the next thing that's going to happen. How about Jeanette Lee's role? Could you tell us what that, that Jeanette Lee's role is in the company? Um, CRO. Yeah, kind of non existent now. Is that yeah. So you've come to a parting of the ways? So yeah, so? yeah, she decided to uh, move on. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Is this something that's brand new? I mean, this has happened recent, just recently? Fairly recently. Mm -hmm. In the past, you've said that rock music was meaningless, and that, uh, and I can understand you've objected to the star-making machinery that obviously some companies and some rock and roll bands uh, take that path. But do you ever get excited, either one of you, about uh, rock and roll anymore? Any particular band or any sound? I don't like that title, rock and roll. Yeah. It's, it's just record marketing. That's all it is. Bad record marketing. I don't like labels. Yeah. With any music at all that's happening right now. I like quite a lot of records, yes. But I won't show what's happening now. Rock and roll as a, t as a label. Mm. Well, fine. Well, let's eliminate that, and I would like to know what yeah, you're rock. asking. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, I don't care if it's Stockhausen or uh, Julian Bream. I was just wondering, I was interested in finding out what well, you're Both those two things are fine by me. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they are. But what are you listening to lately? You name it. Well, let's say that what New York is very hard mm. to get away from disco. But that's it's not so bad. I quite like it. I like turning the radio on and hearing non-stop disco. But it's just, that's just a rhythm section, though, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, how much of that can you hear before you go? You know, <laughs> quite a lot. <laughs> quite a lot, really. <laughs> the fact yeah. that what the, choice have you got? Again, <laughs> the old dreaded British press has been spreading rumours that. Uh, but all you do, and especially I think they picked on John in this particular case, is just sit around and watch television. That's all he's ever and, done. <laughs> you know, is that all he ever did even in Great Britain as well? Mate? I watch telly a lot, yeah. He's in paradise here. There's like 97 channels here. There's only three in London. <laughs> <laughs> this well, is heaven. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it you're sitting around with a Pim's cup watching? <laughs> what is it that you get from uh, all of this television? Because I feel if you're... They're you're, probably the same as what some people get out of video games. But I, I can can you take it, John, I mean, thinking. honestly, now, again, again, I'm seriously not trying to praise you unduly, but I feel of, that you're such a vibrant person with an awful lot of things to say, that it sort of kind of surprises me to find you, you know, Well, I need my relaxation. <laughs> your I can't be brilliant 24 hours a day. <laughs> my vegetation, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, <laughs> as far as that film you just finished, did you, uh, we had read that possibly uh, you were going to do the music for the film. Is that true? Oh, God damn my ties. I mean, you can't depend on them for nothing. If they get their fingers out, they might just like, have us on there. You know? We're ready to do it. I mean, we're quite bad for not answering the phone, but they're hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they beat us on that one, definitely. And then they don't speak the language. You know? Even when you get Italians to talk to them, they don't understand. They don't. We've tried it. We've written telexes to them in, in Italian and stuff like that. It still doesn't happen. Yeah. You were working on the soundtrack, or we heard that you were working on the soundtrack for the film Wolfen. What happened with that? <laughs> Warner Brothers. Dun, 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 dun. They had a lot to do with it. I mean, they, they, um, they messed it up for him as well. It didn't come out how he wanted it visually. So I guess the soundtrack didn't get a look in. Who did it in the end? I really truthfully don't know. A lot of people were disappointed with the movie in the end, and it could have been so yes. good. Yeah. 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 I'm surprised, in a way, that, you, you, that you're not more interested in video than you've expressed, simply because of the fact that I think, uh, even Did if it hasn't been done... Film interests me more. Film interests me more. Yeah. Like, this film I've done was more like an education. Uh, I was practically studying every aspect, like 24 hours a day. For that, it was very good. Mm -hmm. So when we bung out our own little film, mm -hmm. it will be very professional. It's very it was good. important to do that. The thing about video that like excited us um, isn't the same thing that seems to excite everyone else. 
Okay. And actually, we can put our fingers right on it now, what it is, but we're not going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's miles better. And, you know, now we've sussed that out. That's what we're doing. Well, and me, you will see what it is. Yeah. We're really interested yeah. in seeing yeah. that when it comes about, too, because for me, I, I understand, I think, what you're saying. And there's an awful lot of video directors that I find really scintillating. People like Russell Mulcahy and the work that he does. You're saying he's good? I, I think he's, well, I think he probably has a, probably well, some Well, they the came up potential. with the best videos. Um, Ultravox and that video. Right, so video you're talking about like the, the Bowie videos and the Visage videos mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But it, then it started getting into a very kind of, it got stuck in a mode mm -hmm. of art. Well, you know, I, I've got nothing against art personally, but um, like the, the videos are good. Like those Devo videos were great. Mm -hmm. Remember the first Devo mm -hmm. ones? I mean, they that's that. Okay, that is great video. A lot of the other stuff isn't. I mean, they're still. I mean, they still can't get past lip syncing. You know, mm -hmm. they, you know, just like the first things you don't like about it, they're still doing. You know, it's just um, and uh, film is is. If we do a promo video, we're shooting it on film anyway. The only video part of it is like when it goes to a shop or when it gets shown in a club. Mm -hmm. And that's what video is anyway. It's, you know, for sending around the country to do tours instead of bands going around doing tours. You know, like on the uh, 100 dates and 100 nights. Mm -hmm. You didn't like, like Don, Don Letts, uh, am I right? Don Letts did your video? Uh, which one? You're talking about the first one. Don yeah, Letts, like, was holding a Super 8 camera on the first one. And he, he shot some of the best stuff and we used it. Mm -hmm. in the first video, but actually a guy called Peter Clifton, who Don was working with, mm -hmm. um, or using, I'm not sure, or both, um, <laughs> like, did, you know, the main, the main sum of it. Mm. That was a good video. Do you like any it? of the Clashes videos? <laughs> no, okay. Next we question. Do <laughs> <laughs> you ever, it, from time to time, John, do you ever look back and, uh, and listen to any of the stuff you did with Sex Pistols, any of the music you... Then? Well, I'm bleeding forced into it, and I? I mean, it's played non-stop. It's a joke that that band took off the minute it ceased to exist. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot in death, particularly in America. I suppose it's the Jim Croce syndrome, you mm -hmm. know, which you can't have, you want more of. I must praise herself for, like, avoiding using that Sex Pistols situation in a bad way. I mean, we could have used that situation in such a bad way, and we didn't. Yes, you know? but then again, and truthfully, the reason that, that I think that I do and that most of the people here were very excited about you coming down here today is that we do think of nothing else. I don't try to even put on any pretense of understanding everything that you may do, but I've always felt of you as having integrity. And of course, then that would have been a blatant misuse of it, and that would have been lost. I think that's why people are still very much interested in what you have to do and what you have to say, and what you're all about, mm. you know, because that's one thing you've always held true to, even during those days, and even when that was all going on, I'll be very frank, I can't say that I was completely wild about everything that came from the Sex Pistols, but I damn sure respected your stance, you know, and that's where that came from. Oh, come on, more of this. <laughs> I love how I like this. Yeah. Do you ever think of, I mean, like I said, in thinking of those days, I would be interested in knowing what your fondest memories and, and your worst memories were of that particular period. All bad. <laughs> all of it was bad? Yeah. Punk not, rock. not. It's <laughs> not what people think. Okay, do you ever think of the time, much time that you spent with the Clash? I think about it. Yeah, sure. I mean, it was great when it was happening. You know, that was like the most happening thing I was doing at the time. I'm really glad I'm not with the band. You know. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think personally, I did the better thing. <laughs> Well, it's good that you think that would be terrible if you thought in retrospect that you hadn't. So in retrospect, yeah. I've got more fond memories coming up, I guess. I don't know. Do you remember how we first met? Uh, that no. awful club in Sheffield? Yeah, yeah Clash gig. Clash yeah. and a Pistols gig. Really? Yeah, yeah. No one knows about what happened at the beginning. No. What would you tell us about that? Well, we were gigs. both mighty disliked <laughs> by the rest of our bands. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting in one corner, he was sitting in another corner. Both of us. Right, just not saying anything to anyone, and just like, definitely hated everything. <laughs> <laughs> then how did you get to even say hello to each well, other? Well, we, we, we sussed Forced that. Forced we into yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Malcolm, Malcolm McLaren claims that the band was never more. Oh, Malcolm has great hindsight. Was never an image, was never more than an image, and, and uh, I disagree. Don't you think that um, there was some genuine good music coming through at that time? from Sex Pistols. Seeing as I wrote the songs, yeah. <laughs>
How could I <laughs> say otherwise? <laughs> Do you think that image and performance are possibly more important than content? No, never. God, am I glad to hear you say that. Go ahead. Delivery is important. But content has to if be you the theme. If you have content, forget it. I won't mention the name, but when I was in England oh, recently, we, uh, we interviewed some people, and one of the bands uh, that's uh, currently very hot on the English, British music scene actually said that, that they felt that style and form are far more important Who said than that? substance. I really get oh, I like I you, I must, I must beg off, because I wouldn't want to in any way hurt their career. Oh, I kind of want to slag them off. <laughs> <laughs> I like targets like that. <laughs> Did you enjoy the one yeah, US you can tour? Be a it wasn't rebel. the Human League, was it? Well, you can dress I'm up. I'm not going to say you, really, but it wasn't. Huh? <laughs> no, no. I've always felt you know, you're right. Are old speed brains? Like no, no. It was a British band. Oh, British band. <laughs> How do you see the public public image in say two years? How, what would you like to have accomplished in two Conglomerate years? Conglomerate situation. How definitely. But certainly, I hope. I'd like to be filthy rich on my own terms. <laughs> that would be heaven for me. <laughs> In your own terms? To do exactly what I want and make a lot of money doing it. And do good things as well, you know. Do you no one does good things. That's the thing. You know, see no one's you, excited. See if you agree with me on this. It's the last thing. Um, I've always felt, like yourselves, I would one day like to be wealthy, but certainly not, not for any reason to look down my nose at anyone. It's just it seems in a Western society, and since that's the only one I really know, that the only way you can really be free is to be wealthy and you can be free to be a complete ass or you can be free to to actually do wonderful things if you choose to do so is basically that's what you're saying I guess so yeah I you guess right. you put it but I got a feeling that quite nice to do yeah. <laughs> John wants to be decadent for a while <laughs> <laughs> no I'll go along with that that's good well thank you very much for coming by and do me a favor though when you get a few of these things under your belt would you mind returning and just Definitely. talk about that Definitely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right John we Is can that guaranteed airspace? Oh. Guaranteed airspace, John. My man. You just made a deal there. <laughs> Thank you. All, All right, right, great. So that's it, yeah? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> How comes you ain't in this? I got nothing on you at all. That's not important. You're the two that's important. Yeah, but... Mm. Oh, we'll get cutaways in there, yeah, something we'll nodding or some shit, you know, but uh, it's important is what you have to say. Nodding, yeah. It's good because that, you know, yeah. it, it's better that way. It's, you know, it's horrible, like yeah. speeding it all out, because uh, no, it really ruins, like, what you know. The, yeah. the, you have to the, the position that I'm in from this particular situation is I, I think you understand where you're coming. Yeah, it's from. like we've spouted yeah. ideas before yeah. and they've been used by other people mm -hmm. before. We've and these had, ones are so like to finish. Yeah. Remember, I said there's this thing that you put your finger right on, mm -hmm. right? Well, you know, when when we sussed out this thing mm -hmm. about video. Like, it's really obvious, right? It's not easy to do, but it's really mm -hmm. obvious, and it's like, um, like, there's much more space to do stuff in. Mm -hmm. You know, it's much more powerful mm -hmm. as well. And I don't want to talk about it until I've got Certainly. a lot of stuff in the can. Yeah. You know? Uh-huh. But just Which won't be long. energy. Mm -hmm. But I would like when that does happen, if you wouldn't mind. You know, if you were coming back, that would be great to talk about that. That would be really good. Because it, it, I was in a difficult position, too, trying to entertain these six million odd people that are out there but at the same this time is it, right? this is at the it. same time understanding like i said before and i wasn't bullshitting and you know, i really appreciate your integrity and have over all of these years you know which is for me very much like john and not being a performer so therefore not even having the, the capability of making that one big shot of real money as we're talking about mm -hmm. coming up through the old hippie days through the freeform radio days and having to work with a certain type formatted radio 
and getting very frustrated by it. It's one of the reasons I wanted to come to MTV. Not that I felt it in itself would be a vehicle for what I want to do eventually with television or go, but God knows one has to get started somewhere. Yeah, definitely. You know, that's and, the best uh, way to look at it as well. You know, so I get it.